R2-D2 was given to Anakin as a present by Padme following his ascension into knighthood of the Jedi Order. The two quickly became friends, with Anakin viewing the droid almost as a living being with how much he cared for it, and the astromech appeared to share the same feelings in return. So how did Anakin's trusty astromech react after it saw its human master fall to the dark side and eventually force choke Padme on Mustafar? In the Revenge of the Sith novel, there's actually a scene between R2-D2 and C-3PO during the moment Anakin meets up with Padme following his raid at the Jedi Temple and before his departure to Mustafar. While those two talked, R2 and C-3PO discussed the chaotic events that had taken place so far. In a rare occurrence, the novel reads the conversation between the two droids through C-3PO's auto-translator, giving the readers the ability to understand what R2-D2 is saying through its beeps. When asked if he is alright and what was going on, R2 responded, sounding a bit shaken and frustrated, stating that nobody tells him anything anymore. R2 continued by saying that something was wrong, and that the factors of what has happened didn't balance. C-3PO responded by saying how no one was more confused than him with what was going on, in which R2 gave a classic snarky remark back by saying that he was right, nobody could ever be more confused than his gold-plated friend. After that back and forth, the two droids overheard a bit of Anakin and Padme's conversation, where the Jedi Rebellion against the Republic was being mentioned, and their assassination attempt against the Chancellor. C-3PO then asked R2 if he knew anything about this, in which the astromech responded, sounding a bit saddened now, stating that he knew nothing, because Anakin stopped talking to him. When C-3PO brought up how someone so honorable like Mace Windu could be an assassin, R2 once again responded how he couldn't understand it either, as the factors didn't add up. C-3PO then brought up his concerns over a rumor he heard, in that the Republic was planning on banning all droids after the war ended, to which R2 began to scold his friend for believing something so obviously untrue, and to not believe everything he heard, and that the both of them due to being simply droids, didn't know the full truth, and likely wouldn't ever when it came to the chaotic events that were unfolding that day. Once on Mustafar, and being told to remain back at the Starfighter, R2-D2 would soon witness the true horror of his master and see just how far he had fallen. As the hours went by, a familiar ship finally landed on the platform near Anakin's Starfighter. It was Padme. The two humans quickly came together and soon began to argue, more so than R2 had ever seen before. Fearing what was coming, R2 began to record the entire confrontation from a distance, as it remained within the Starfighter. As a result, Anakin's force choke of Padme was not only witnessed, but also recorded by R2-D2. When Anakin and Obi-Wan began to fight, R2 later helped Padme back to her ship alongside C-3PO, and the astromech unit continued to record the entire situation as it unfolded, even recording Padme's eventual death when she finally gave birth. It's unknown if R2 began to record out of shock or as a means to protect Padme, but these recordings would remain locked away within the astromech for decades, with the droid refusing to show them even to Luke Skywalker once he learned of them. R2 explained that he didn't wish to show Luke the recordings as a way to protect him, but eventually the son of Anakin was able to convince R2 to reveal the recordings, showing him his birth, his mother's death, and Anakin's attack on her on Mustafar, igniting both painful and sad emotions from Luke, and likely painful and sad memories from R2-D2 as well. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.